PJ Peaceful. This is a cell I just wanted to show everyone that I uh, quickly put together. Um, I'm going to be running this cell probably for about, uh, I guess, 24 hours straight, at least as long as I possibly can uh, within uh, a 24 hour time frame. And the reason is, is you'll notice that one of the plates appears to be black in color. Um, that black, uh, that color is, is a result of um, <coughs> some plastic dip that uh, I acquired from Home Depot. And what I did was I took this plate and cleaned it down with rubbing alcohol and sanded it well and dipped it in the plastic coat. When I say dip, that's exactly what I did. I didn't. They've got they've got a kind that you can dip your material in or you can spray paint it on if you will and I know in another video um, Luther P40 showed several um, things that uh, kind of work for him a, uh, anywhere from uh, the type of I guess I think I think it's electrolyte that he used or preferred um, you know the various uh, sealants um, and I think one of the things he mentioned was the plastic coat and the rattle can and that he said it worked okay but I, I he got some uh, some water migration in between the cracks and as he concluded that uh, once that happens, you know, you, you basically start getting some blistering and action and then it just tends to separate from, the plastic coat tends to separate from the material. Now that's true and I, I'm almost leaning towards the idea that that's, that's sort of the, in, the intention or one of the design aspects of plastic coat because if you think about what it's mainly designed for, uh, it's for protecting your hand tools, the end of your hand tools. For instance, if I were to take this lead this alligator clip and I wanted to insulate this, I would just dip this part of it into the plastic coat and it creates a nice uh, durable and rugged plastic coating to it. Um, and it does shrink. The plastic coat will detach, uh, especially near the edge, the furthest or the, uh, the point at which the plastic coat stops, that edge, it will recede a bit and that can cause some of course, that's the shrinkage, and it can cause uh, some detachment of the material or of the plastic coat to the material. And I think that's 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 part of the design. I, I don't I don't think that's a mistake in their design of this chemical, but um, I don't think it was meant to be a, a, ever I guess a permanent uh, fix. But uh, but what you can do, and I've noticed, is uh, just like the Duplicolor automotive paint. If you rough up the surface quite well, and you keep your plates very, you know, very clean, once you're done, you, you, you clean them off with a, a degreaser of sorts and make sure you're wearing rubber gloves, the plastic coat will stick very well. Uh, um, I've, I've had this cell just sitting in solution for a couple of days, and of course there's no current passing through it, but uh, it was a very strong solution. and. Uh, there was no uh, uh, detachment of the plastic coat from the stainless plate. Uh, now, what I will tell you, if you're going to use this, um, I highly recommend that you take your time and using this product, and you know, do do all the necessary prep work, and 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 do a lot of you know, planning ahead of what you're going to do and the surface you want to apply it to because what I've noticed is hopefully you can see this in the camera I may bring a little bit closer you'll notice I brought the coat all the way around to just about a sixteenth of an inch to the inside of the plate here 
Uh, actually, what I did was I dipped the entire plate uh, twice in this in the plastic coat solution and let it dry for about um, for about eight hours. Um, and what I did is I went back and used my X-Acto knife and just scored a nice nice edge all the way around uh, the plate, leaving about a sixteenth of an inch all the way around the plate. And this goes back to what I've discovered is it, it has a tendency to peel away from the edge, its edge. And because of that, I didn't want the plastic coat to peel off the edge here and then eventually completely come off this plate. Um, doing this, it sort of creates a lip, if you will, a wrap around the entire edge of the plate and it gives it a much more durable secure finish if you will. I don't know how long this is, would last. I don't know how long it will last. Um, I'm going to play with this this type of coating. I think maybe if you're not too worried about uh, current leakage coming from this away out of the cell and you're more so worried about current leakage this way, then I think this is a, a pretty decent solution for that problem. But if, but of course, still the best the best way to address probably current leakage totality is is to completely wrap your cell in like a acrylic sheeting or something similar to that effect. Um, but, like I said, this is a seems like a pretty cheap solution. I think most most people could probably do this. But again, take your time. Sand the plate or the area wherever you want to apply this to. And of course, you can, you can apply this to your leads. But make sure you rough it up well. Uh, clean it thoroughly when you're done. Uh, apply a single coat to it and let it sit, let it dry. I, I would say you'd probably want to let it dry at least a half a day, apply another coat, let it dry, you know. I, one coat actually is, is pretty thick when you're using the dip solution rather than the, the aerosol. Um, follow the directions. Follow the directions. Uh, they give you quite explicit directions on how to dip your material to get as best coverage and best adhesion as possible. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that uh, I think this can work. Um, and who knows, maybe I might use this in conjunction with uh, some acrylic plates across here. Kind of keep maybe my cost down a little bit because uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of plastic coat in one container, so it it, it could last me quite quite a while, and I think that would be a lot easier than trying to construct acrylic shieldings, if you will, every time I create a cell. But uh, anyway, I just want to pass that on to you guys, and uh, maybe it'll work for you. I don't know. I, I think it's worked quite well for me so far. Like I said, this has held up. So thanks for watching.